A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Prayer from the Churches of Canton in the ministry area of West Cardiff. And it is Monday the 29th of January. And yes, you can still see a Christmas tree behind me, which will be staying up until the Feast of Candlemas. And much joy it has brought to our household and to our friends and neighbours as well. I do hope that uh, through these darker, wetter days um, that we get in January and February that you are finding ways to keep the joy alive in your hearts and homes. Uh, welcome, as I say, to morning prayer today. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the people have seen your glory. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The psalm this morning is Psalm 57. Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge, until the destroying storms pass by. I cry to God Most High, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will put to shame those who trample on me. God will send forth his steadfast love and his faithfulness. I lie down among lions that greedily devour human prey. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongues sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. They set a net for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will make, I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens, and your faithfulness extends to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Amen. Tender God, gentle protector in time of trouble, pierce the gloom of despair, and give us with all your people the song of freedom and the shout of praise. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The epistle reading this morning is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 until the end of the chapter. That's 1 Corinthians 12, verses 12 to the end of the chapter. Just as a body, though one, has many parts but all its many parts form one body. So it is with Christ, for we were all baptised by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Now, if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being a part of the body. And if the ear should say, well, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not, be, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many hearts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honourable, we treat with special honour. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. 
while our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, giving greater honour to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. Now, you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. And God has placed in the church, first of all, the apostles, the prophets, the teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, of helping, of guidance, and of different kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Now, eagerly desire the greater gifts. Love is indispensable, and yet I will show you the most excellent way. Here ends the lesson. To the bidding, let us pray to the Lord. The response is, Lord, have mercy. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. For this community of Canton and communities everywhere, for every city, town and village, and for all the people who live therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in authority, that they may be guided and given wisdom to deal with the present crises and guide the peoples of this great nation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church, and for unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We commend to your gracious keeping all who are anxious, distressed or bereaved in mind, body or spirit. Comfort and relieve them in their need. Give them patience in their sufferings and bring good out of their troubles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Be with us, Lord, in all our prayers and direct our ways towards peace. May we always be guided by your gracious help, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Comfort us, Lord, when we feel overwhelmed or insecure. Help us through the challenges we face. Although we feel safe with familiar ways, let us never become resistant to new ways. Give us grace to be open and be receptive, entrusting us to work to your praise and glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Take care, one and all. Have a lovely day and may God richly bless you this week and always. See you soon. Bye bye.